Yeah, 25 at night. Just another day in paradise. I've just finished work, so quick shower, and uh, it's time to go and get the boat. There's no flights to England at the minute. That is what it is. So get the boat to Liverpool, um, get a private car to Clactus, straight down to Manchester, work all day there, back up the road to Liverpool. Boom, it's done. It's just me up and down. I'm really front of town. Got the bloody shoes, diamond flooded crown. Everybody needs to get their fucking finger out. Every single day, everybody needs to raise their standards. I'm not having all that shit. Um, is there anything I can do to help you? Just get the overnight ferry now to uh, Liverpool. We'll arrive into Birkenhead at 6.30 a.m. We'll have a private car collecting us, taking us straight to Manchester. Then we'll be going to Dream Apartments Manchester in Adolphi Street, where I'll be putting my training gear on. And then it's time to run South Tower. So tomorrow, um, it's going to be four times, so it's just pre-training. Pre Let's get shit done. We have about tea time tomorrow night. Just arrived in Liverpool at 6.30 a.m. I've been up from five past four. Um, I've did my goals, my gratitude. Feeling really good, to be honest. No flights available into the UK at the minute, but fl flights out. I couldn't even charter a jet um, due to Brexit restrictions, so things have been challenging, but you have to keep pushing on. When you've got multiple businesses across the UK, you can't let other people control you. So a situation will either control you or you'll control it, and I always choose to control it. I'm just doing some emails here. Yeah. I like clearing my emails every morning. There's nothing worse than starting with a, a full inbox. So just arriving in a different city, it has to be clear for the day. So I know gratitude and goals may be really important, but having that clear inbox with 100% focus from I hit the road is mega. It's everything for me. <laughs> You are the warrior. All you do is win. Every single bit of your life, you win. You got a new contract yesterday for a sports clothing brand. You're just a magnet attracting everything positive in your life because you deserve every bit of it. I was just on the phone leaving a voice message for Molly. She's in Spain. She's going to be fighting a, uh, an international competition, which she's not really fighting on it. She's just going to win it because that's what she does. If I was to give you advice, just the one that you've done is great. We just need to get it a bit more polished. We go through like three phone batteries a day. Right. Constantly on the phone, sending voice notes. Which makes me money. Call me from side at nine o'clock. Um, I believe the apartment's can being completely done, the show flat, but I'll need to see photographs and a video. I will. Go send her up. Who was that? Dolores. Keeping the wife happy. I'm just off a full nerd with my beautiful wife, Dolores. You know, regardless of me being away, you need to stay in touch with your family. You know, the next thing I'll be doing is text messaging both my amazing daughters, you know. I know things will never stop, but you can't get that work-life balance. You just need to want it. You know, it's like your your relationships and your businesses are the same. If you put massive energy into your relationships, they'll be incredible. If you put massive energy into your business, you'll be a success. Why not be a success in both? Let's get our energy put into Deal Street then, and we'll get 10 away, definitely, for opening on the 17th of March. We have just arrived at... It's Manchester, um, and there's the roads closed <laughs> due to some utility issues, but it's what it is. <laughs> Fucking told them for three days, um, and they didn't listen to us. So then, finally, when they did listen to us, the road collapsed and the water was leaking in the yard building. But they're actually out now fixing it. to pick a nice one bed, a three bed in the studio or anything of a hard. Go. Look at him, I don't know, <laughs> This is Dream Apartments Manchester, based just nine minutes away from Old Trafford, 10 minutes away from Media City, and an eight minute walk to Deansgate. We're in the most incredible location, right in the heart of the city. We'll have an incredible location here. 18 car parking spaces, um, a full block of apartments, and our new expansion is just two blocks up. So in the space of from the 4th of January until the 1st of May, in a global pandemic, we've opened 120 apartments here in the city of Manchester, expanding to 200 before Christmas. So we're going to South Tower now. Um, just a nice way to start the day. Um, 
I did a bit of a hit class this morning on the boat. Goal statements, gratitude, all my emails wiped out, and uh, now I'm gonna go and run, run South Tower. I am doing this amazing tour on the 31st of March with my amazing UFC warrior, Molly. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go and get the cobwebs off this morning, get this done, and then get stuck in. Obviously, as you know, Ricky, we've just arrived in Manchester, but I have to get myself primed. So I've done my goals, gratitude, like I've said, but it's now time to completely smash it. So um, we're going to South Tower, I'm gonna park a Jeep up, and um, I'm gonna run the stairs twice. That's 67 floors up, 67 floors down, twice. Um, I need to set myself up for the day, so I can't wait. Today's gonna be a massive day for us with loads of stuff co coming. Opportunities are on on the phone every single day. You have to be the magnet that's attracting that every day, and that's what we are, and that's what I am as a person too. It's all mindset. As Drake says, shit don't ever yeah. stop. <laughs> Discover your work life balance. Are you really <laughs> with me? Like, <laughs> work is your life. Life is work. Love it, man. Fucking love it. Yeah, it's being built kind of now. The construction going on in Manchester at the minute is just completely terrific. It's definitely the capital of the north. And I have to say, the people in this city are just incredible. I've never felt so welcome. I've actually loved it that much. And I'm a massive fan of Liverpool. I love the people of Liverpool. Just because of the size of this city, I suppose, we decided to buy a second home here. So my wife and I and our kids um, are just completing on a gorgeous new luxury two-bedroom apartment. So we'll have a hub in England. So when I'm over here working, I actually have a home away from home. Um, and that's what Dream Apartments is, is. Dream Apartments is home away from home. Um, and that's why we're so popular with corporates. That's why we've been providing accommodation for essential industries and for essential workers the whole way through this global pandemic. Because we can provide that home away from home experience. And also we'll have the safety of self-isolation if you need to. We also ozone the room, killing every single living virus. Our hygiene levels are through the roof. So service departments, and especially dream apartments, are the future, 100%. Absolutely gorgeous. That I'm about to run South Tower in Manchester, and to let him know that I needed him to run the sales meeting this morning, but I'm looking forward to seeing you. I'm gonna call you shortly when I finish doing this, but you have to believe in yourself. You know, sales are sales are so so easy. And uh, once you but if you're believing in each phone call, then you're gonna get your wins. So don't be disheartened. Or all, all right, love? Okay, smash it today. Smash it. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. That's the whole point of being in sales. You do have bad days, but it's about being the best in the world and not giving a f and still pushing on and getting sales. Nose, nose is on a no only means yes. We keep pushing until we get the yes. I'm about to run South Tower here for some practice. So if you could help me lead the sales meeting this morning, I'll be back on the phone from 10.30. So it says ground floor, Ricky, but there's actually another floor. So I have to make sure that I've done them all. So I'll just start at the bar. Suckers not me, uh, not the main attraction. main attraction, Ricky Bobby. Uh. I done been around the block and turned a couple times. <laughs> been around the shooting, seen a couple of times. I've been a couple of millions, hit a couple of times. Speaking on my so, what can you do? Why do you do this? What? Why do you do this? Why? Why? What's your why? What's somebody else's name or is it? That's ridiculous and hard. I'll make it just easy. Every day, it's all mindset. Tell somebody you're gonna run. Build the 67 floors. Yeah. Well, stop. I think you're crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy. I am. Definitely. I should have done this. That's the fucking movie. I'm moving with a smile. They ain't know my love. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, so that's my cardio done. Um, 
I usually have it nailed a lot earlier, but I was only able to do um, a small bit of training this morning on the boat. So, um, especially because I'm doing that uh, charity event with Molly, and she's a top UFC athlete, I'm just making sure my fitness is on point. So, I'm just after running South Tower there twice, um, 67 floors up and down twice, and I have to say, I have earned my stripes um, in the past because I find it easy. Um, and that's one of the things I like doing. Something that would blow somebody else's mind that's super difficult. I always find it easy. So. I suppose for me, um, when people are sending me voice messages, you need them to be short and sweet. Voice messages on a phone need to be effective. Bullet point message on your voice and that's it done. Um, because then the more you can listen to, the more you can get done, obviously. Some people end up waffling and it's a waste of time for everyone. Down, you can see the beautiful city of Manchester, the roads are still quiet, but it is amazing to see essential industries and key workers all starting to come back in a bigger way. Um, people are, I suppose, getting fed up with government guidelines, although it's essential to follow them, I get that, but I think we need a bit of a better structure and more guidance, so industry, hospitality, and everybody can get back to having their amazing life. Go ahead, big son. That's what it is, kid. Yes, tell him to go ahead and do that, love. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, it's, I eat on the go. You know, I have to say, it's been years from I had a lunch. You know, it's just, I eat when I work, or I eat when I drive, and um, it is what it is. See the way like you wake up so early, do you ever still feel like rushed throughout the whole day? Yeah, when I get up early in the morning, um, I get so much more done than normal people, but I am still in it to win it. Um, I treat every minute like it counts. I do not waste time. I do not fathom fools. I will not go to a meeting now or go and view a building unless I know it's 100% worth going to. I suppose that's one of the traits of this trade in property and stuff that you could, you could easily give your life away on going to meetings every day of the week and nothing coming off them. Um, I've got to the point now, I know which ones that count and I'll only apply my time to those ones that will matter and turn into something. Um, you can sort of siphon out and, and realize who the fools are in life who are gonna waste your time. So many drink decaf. Obviously, you drink coffee to get a hit. Yeah, we're finished South Tower. I'm in Manchester now. I'm about to start doing all our operational stuff in Dream Apartments to find out what flaws there is because there always is something that needs fixed. So before I leave Dream Apartments Manchester today, everything will be fixed. I'm speaking to my friend Phil um, about some new site funding, um, and then it's just straight on to Liverpool. So shit don't never stop, right? <laughs> Have you said that? Have you? Said I'm your friend as well as your mentor. That's why I'm doing it. One hundred percent. How was your phone's not working? Or they can actually show proof of funds and. This is the call. Deal with the guest. Flat, completely flat out, but in a good way. Just. How's work going today? It is what it is, man. Hello. Go to Dale Street. I have to go down and make sure that we sort out all the shelving for our left. As soon as you flick that switch in your head and believe in yourself, you'll be the best saleswoman on the planet. It's as simple as that. Because you don't have enough wind yet. It's because you care. And I, because you care, that, I love that. So, you know, nose is part of our job. And a no is only a couple of calls away from turning it into a yes. So, I just, I don't even accept no anymore in my life. It's just, really? Okay, no problem, we'll call you back tomorrow. I call them back again, they're like, what did I tell you yesterday? It's okay, I'm gonna call you every day, do you say yes? So what? Let's get it done, 100%. Let's go and get it done. Let's go and get the rest of the day. Sales like, sell like the rest of the day. Let's get the sales in and smash the shit clean out of it, okay? Well done in advance, well done in advance. All right, love, take care, bye-bye, bye. bye. How's that? One of my sales people. I am completely delighted. It's been a global success. Uh, from American actors, a good friend of mine from New York, um, to people in Washington, 
right across everybody back home in Ireland, the UK. It's just been, the response has been incredible. And I'm so overwhelmed, delighted. The thought of it helping one person was the whole point of writing a book, but it's helped so many already. And if you're struggling with self-doubt, buy this book and start fearing less. If you have a room with the bow, oh. sorry, with that sofa bed, and the apartment. Yeah, um, so we've had a back-to-back -back day, as you well know, and um, feel truly privileged to get two new amazing clients here from a mentoring program. So buzzing off that, um, buzzing off the, off the thought, knowing that I'm gonna be able to help these people. And that's the biggest thing for me. You know, I'm a mentor who is a multi-business owner. And so I suppose a very successful business owner. Um, why? Because I have made the mistakes um, and I've really learned from them. And that's one of the things that I want to teach in my mentor to help people uh, not make these mistakes, let my experiences be unfolded onto them and give them added value. So it's definitely been a whole new thing for me, this. I think it's going to be a massive part of my future doing the mentoring and I feel truly blessed. I've also just done a property deal on three gorgeous townhouses that we've sold back home in Northern Ireland for 400000 off the back of doing everything for Dream Apartments. Um, I'm just on my way now to my brand new home in Manchester that I bought for my wife and my kids. So we'll have a gorgeous bolt hole in England, lovely safe place, home from home. Uh, similar quality to our own house and I have to say I have completely fell in love with Manchester and its people um, and I love everybody in Liverpool too um, just the size of this city um, it's, it's just like having the capital but it's in the north you know I, I definitely I love this place I really love Manchester being in it to win it all the time so Michelle fantastic work well done thank you not even we're good to go, my sister sent me all the money. Yeah. All right, really excited to be moving in here um, in the next couple of weeks in March. Definitely the best address in Manchester. Um, and the building is completely epic. So, so we're, we're just here lucky enough because we met this fantastic fella, the agent. What's your name again, sir? Mark. Mark. So thanks to Mark for being able to come in. I've just checked the management on one of the doors. Um, and then we're going straight back to the site for our further expansion for Dream Apartments. Um, we're phase three, so the longer this block takes, I suppose the better for us. However, the developer is for us, and they're absolutely incredible. So yes. um, we will be opening here in the middle of April, phase two, Dream Apartments Manchester. Can you rack and eat up it very much? All right, bye-bye, bye. So this is Dream Apartments phase two. We're in the middle of a live site. We are very lucky that everybody has went home for the day and we have permission from Forest to actually be on site. Um, as you can see, we're in the middle of getting everything finished. Forest to the developers always produce on time, which is fantastic. Bring it for a company like ours, um, as we'll be selling these rooms by the night. So um, another stunning development, Dream Apartments are proud to be moving into part of our expansion, uh, which brings us up to, like I've said, 120 apartments in Manchester through a global pandemic, expanding through the whole fear. Uh, we just kept going. Um, just show you an, an apartment for an example. This is a beautiful three bed duplex, staircase going down in an apartment block, but it's just like a family home, completely incredible. Staircase actually brings us down. The beauty about all these apartments is all of them have a fantastic balcony. Um, all the apartments at the back have a view of the water. In, a, in the middle of our bustling city like Manchester, you know, we are right, we have our own little bit of tranquility here. So the dream apartment guests especially our biggest percentage of our business is all corporate. Even when a normal business comes back, we're 70, 80% corporate, 20, 30% leisure. Our customers have the, the quality and the comfort of staying in an amazing city like Manchester, but having the luxury of tranquility um, with car parking on site and 24 hour reception and an amazing team of staff, the dream team. I have a few meetings now back to back and um, then we're going to Liverpool. Another day, another dollar. 
another day, another dollar. Yeah, it's one of the things I ask every day. Dear universe, how does it get any better than this? And it keeps manifesting and sending amazing things. Massively successful day in Manchester. Some amazing information through there for another couple of opportunities in the UK. And um, we've also had an opportunity come to us um, in good old Dublin. So, wow, just an incredible day. I feel truly blessed. And um, it's time to hit Liverpool now. All right, Tom, you look after yourself. Thank too, you. Bye bye. Bye. All right, bye bye. bye. Yeah, all good. Yeah, how we get on? And Grant's just sent you a voice message. Wow, happy Wednesday. And the loveliest thing about you is you're that humble a person. You are your own. You, but you are your own unique selling point. Yeah. Um, so we've just arrived at uh, Liverpool. Um, I'm staying here tonight because they own Dream Apartments Liverpool. But I've just arrived at my tailors and I've got four gorgeous brand new suits. Um, but unfortunately, they need altered. Uh, they didn't go home the way they shoot off last week correctly. So they all need altered because it's all about the detail in everything in life, whether it's a suit, your personal life or your business. It's all about the detail. So I'm just about to get these suits, suits altered now. And then I've got a meeting from 7 to 8, 8 to 9. And then I'm going to start doing my emails. And then I'll be time to lights out by half 10. So last night I had... A meeting with a top PR guy uh, in the northeast of England, Paul Knowles. Um, and then I had a Zoom until three minutes past nine. That was from 4 a.m. yesterday, so it was a pretty full day. Amazing. Um, I worked until midnight last night, and then I was just up again on the grind this morning. And yeah, sometimes I feel a bit tired, but so what? You just need to get shit done. So I'm buzzing this morning, I've had a tin of rain. And I've had three uh, double espressos, <laughs> so I've completely blew my head off. But um, we're doing videos today for three of our buildings. Dale Street, which is our brand new one, opening on St. Patrick's Day. <clears throat> Sweeting Street, which is another stunning building that we've done with the Braithwaite Group. Probably the best developers in Liverpool, Josh and Luke. Um, and then we're going to our big building in uh, Liverpool, Silkhouse Court. So. Just a normal day for me, to be honest. So we're just coming up. This is the financial sector of Liverpool, where all the big insurance companies, legal firms all are. And as usual, Dream Apartments does something other people don't do. We have positioned ourselves incredibly <coughs> right in this location, in this area. So our large building, Silkhouse Court, is just at the bottom of the street. And what I think is the, definitely the best part of Liverpool. Our other building, Sweeting Street, um, is 60 seconds away from Silk House Court, and then Dale Street is a two minute walk. So our three buildings are in like a little triangle. So from a logistical point of view, it's completely perfect. We are at Dale Street here, our brand new building um, that I've been talking about for a while. We opened on St. Patrick's Day, um, an incredible development by the Braithwaite Group. Um, and our furniture has been done by Furnish That Room. So massive thank you to Fran, Kim, and Emma, and the whole team. Look at this. Why don't you give us a tour? Absolutely. So this is our amazing uh, living room and kitchen area. Massively spacious. For anybody who adores Liverpool, like I do, we also have an iconic point in this window with the famous library bird. You can see the huge vaulted ceiling, stunning. And then terrific views of, the, of this most absolutely incredible city. I say, yeah, I agree, Ricky. No matter how busy I am, I just, I, I'll never eat rubbish. It's about eating healthy food all the time. You know, I love using these guys in Nude on Dale Street. Absolutely terrific. We're opening our brand new building on Dale Street and we're going to be keeping the money and the business in Liverpool. So. We're really delighted to be working with Nude and providing our guests with really healthy options as well. You okay? Right. Yeah, just another crazy day in paradise. Um, meetings back to back from this morning. We've been on Dale Street. The building's just looking absolutely incredible. We opened 17th of March and we will be open on time. I've just looked at another brand new building on Water Street. Luxury duplexes and penthouses. Our brand just massively continues. 
and uh, now it's a, a dash for the airport. Look me up and down. I'm really front of town. Got the bloody shoes, diamond flooded crown. The gang moving mean. I'm moving with a smile. They ain't on my level. I got a dummy.